More, we can bring in our regional correspondent, Gulliver Cragg, who is covering this story for us in the Ukrainian uh, capital. Gulliver, talk us through, first of all, how the gavel fell this Monday in this court in Minsk. Well, the charges against Maria Kolesnikova and Maxim Znak were of the pretty vaguely worded crimes of attempting to seize power and extremism. They were both found guilty on all charges. Maria Kolesnikova was sentenced to 11 years in jail, Maxim Znak to 10 years in jail on the same charges. Their lawyers say that they will appeal. Maxim Znak's lawyer stated that not only was their guilt in these crimes not proven, but actually no serious evidence was presented of these crimes having been committed at all. But of course, this was an expected verdict. They are not the first people in Belarus who are political opponents of the regime to be sentenced to jail. And they didn't really expect to be cleared, but they will appeal. Um, it's a formality, but they have to go through the whole process. They're very committed to abiding by the process, having their lawyers present their arguments, and they have been able to do so. Although these are really the top independent lawyers in Belarus working for these candidates, but their work has been severely hampered by the regime in recent months. Independent legal practices are no longer allowed. But as Maxim Znak's father explained to me a couple of weeks ago in Belarus, they have been able to carry on defending opposition figures that are essentially being persecuted persecuted by the regime by signing up to work for state-run law firms. So it's a very paradoxical situation. And these lawyers received a round of applause, along with family members of the two defendants, when they came out of the courtroom. That was a very rare, these days, public collective expression of support for opponents of the regime, where people are being punished lately for even the tiniest, most subtle expressions of dissent. So it was quite an emotional moment. Now, Gulliver, for those watching who haven't followed the protests and the opposition against uh, President Lukashenko's controversial re-election last year, just who are these two figureheads that have been sentenced this Monday? Well, uh, if you remember, in August 2020, the main opposition candidate in Belarus's presidential election was Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, who shortly after the election had to flee to Lithuania. But she campaigned in the last weeks of the campaign always with two other women alongside her. That was Veronika Tsepkalo and Maria Kolesnikova. Tsepkalo also fled the country. Kolesnikova was the only one who refused to leave. In fact, there appears to have been an attempt to force her to leave and come to Ukraine um, exactly a year ago, actually, and at the Ukrainian border, Maria Kolesnikova rather dramatically, according to eyewitnesses, who were there, tore up her passport, saying that she absolutely would not uh, leave Belarus, and she wanted to stay in the country, even if that meant uh, doing jail terms. Before um, joining forces with Tikhanovskaya, Maria Kolesnikova and Maxim Snack were both members of the campaign team of Viktor Babariko, another um, opposition candidate who was actually the leading opposition candidate until he was arrested in June before the election. He was sentenced to 14 years in jail um, a few weeks ago, a bit earlier this year. So there's a whole array of basically leaders of the opposition in Belarus, all of whom are either in exile or in jail. Now Kolesnikova and Maxim Snack are the latest ones to be sentenced. They seem very determined to at least publicly show uh, their strength and uh, their resolution to serve out these jail sentences whilst remaining committed to the opposition cause. In the courtroom, they were smiling and making opposition symbols with their hands. Gulliver Craig in Kiev, thank you very much.